Getting a bug is not uncommon if you use a computer. On Windows, this may be a bit more common than other operating systems. I will show you a free tool that will take care of about any bug you may encounter. And to prove it to you, I will be infecting my computer with malware and using the tool to fix it. Now, I encourage you not to skip any part of the video. You should watch from start to finish, as there are important notes that could save you a whole lot all through the video. Since this tool is very powerful, you want to be sure you are using it the right way with all possible precautions. If you watch till the end, you would have just figured out the biggest free antivirus hack possible. Let us get started. Before we dive into infecting my computer with bugs, let's get the tool we'll use to clean it up. The tool is called Tronscript. I've included a download link in the description below. Now, here's an important note. Tronscript might be flagged as malware by most antivirus programs. Don't worry. This is completely normal. The way Tronscript works to clean your computer can sometimes resemble how malware behaves, which is why antivirus software might misinterpret it. But rest assured, this tool is safe if downloaded from the correct source. Once you've clicked the link, locate the .exe file for Tronscript and download it. To keep things organized, I recommend creating a dedicated folder for it on your desktop. Let's call this folder computer fix. But we're not done yet. To make the cleaning process smoother, we need a second tool. While not mandatory, it can help immensely in preparing your system for cleanup. This tool is called Arkill. It's an anti-malware prep tool that searches for and terminates known malware processes, especially those that could interfere with removal tools like Tronscript. I've also included the download link for Arkill in the description below. Simply click on the first green button to download the program. Just like before, save it in the same folder with Tronscript so everything you need for the cleanup is in one place. Now, double-click the Tronscript.exe file. This action will extract all the files into a folder within the same location where the .exe is saved. As you can see, we now have all these additional folders neatly unpacked. Before we intentionally infect this computer, let me first prove that it has no antivirus software installed. Let's head over to Programs and Features. And as you can see, not a single antivirus program is present. Next, I'll open up Windows Security and double check that all the native protections, like real time protection and firewalls, are completely turned off. This ensures that nothing interferes with the bugs we're about to introduce. All right, with the defenses down, it's time to venture into the less than safe corners of the internet to gather some malware. I'll download these bugs randomly, and honestly, fingers crossed, because if this tool isn't as effective as I believe it is, this computer could end up completely toast. Now we've got a healthy collection of bugs on this machine. The computer is already running significantly slower and behaving somewhat unresponsive, exactly what we wanted to demonstrate. It is time for the fix. Here are some things to note before you use this tool. First, you must restart your computer before running Tronscript. This step is crucial because any pending Windows updates need to be completed first. If you skip this step and the system reboots during the Tron script run, it could cause serious problems, like rendering your system unbootable. Next, Tron script offers command line switches to give you more control over the process. If you don't want certain aspects of the script to run, like the Kaspersky virus removal tool, for example, you can disable them using switches like SA or SK. There are a few more commands listed in the Tron script GitHub, so make sure to check those out if you want to fine-tune your run. But for this demonstration, we'll be using all the default settings. Also, be aware that part of Tronscript's cleaning process may remove valid Microsoft Store downloads. The script goes through your system to debloat and clean unnecessary files, which means it may affect apps connected to the Microsoft Store. So, take a moment to review your apps if you rely on anything from there. Lastly, see Cleaner Runs as part of the script. While you might see it as suspicious, 
All this tool is doing is cleaning up temporary files to prepare your system for the antivirus scans that follow. Remember, I only recommend this tool as a last resource. You may take a snapshot of installed programs before the process so that you can replace any that are wiped away. Now, let's fix this bug-ridden computer and bring it back to life. The first step is to manually close as many open applications as possible. However, some malware might resist shutting down, and that's where Rkill comes in. Navigate to the folder where you saved Rkill, double-click it, and when prompted, click OK. Rkill will scan for malicious processes and attempt to stop them. In my experience, Rkill doesn't always catch everything, but don't worry. TronScript is more than capable of handling the rest. As the terminal runs, you'll see a list of processes that Rkill is stopping. This step may take a moment, so be patient. Meanwhile, you can continue manually closing any other running programs that are safe to close. Once Rkill is finished, a log file will appear. You can close it, because now it's time to bring out the big guns. Remember, Rkill did not clean your computer, it only stopped malicious processes. This means that if you restart your computer, all these processes will be back running. Now, go back to the folder where you saved Tron script, open the Tron folder, right-click the Tron batch file, and select Run as Administrator. Here's an important heads up. This process can take up to 10 hours depending on how much work the script needs to do. So, you'll need a good dose of patience. You'll see a prompt warning that Tron script is not responsible for any damages. Don't panic. This is a standard disclaimer. Type I AGREE in all caps and press ENTER. Then hit any key to continue, and the magic begins. If you are curious, here's what Tron script is doing during this time. Scanning for infections using built-in antivirus tools, like Kaspersky. Removing temporary files to free up disk space. Uninstalling unnecessary pre-installed apps and Microsoft Store bloatware. Repairing common system problems affecting performance. Performing additional cleanup to boost system speed and stability. Once TronScript finishes its work, your computer should be completely clean. If you took note of the apps installed before running Tron, you can verify that they're still present and re-download anything you might need. Now, if you run a virus scan, your computer should come out as clean as a whistle. This tool is open source, and that's one of the reasons I love it. It's free, powerful, and community supported. If you've used Tron script before, let us know about your experience in the comments below. Finally, since Windows is more prone to malware attack, you might consider switching to a less infected operating system like Linux. We've made a video covering the best and easiest Linux distributions for Windows users. Be sure to check it out. If you found this guide helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. It helps us continue creating great content for you. And as always, I'll see you in the next one.